Hi, everyone. Today, I wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about the minimum wage and its effect on the labor market. So in order to understand the minimum wage, we need to understand price controls. Price controls are implemented by the government when policymakers have determined that the market price of a good or service is unfair to buyers or sellers. When we are talking about price controls, we are talking about price floors and the price ceilings. Price floors are legal minimums on the price at which a good can be sold. And it's important to understand that price floors are only effective if they are set to a price that is greater than the equilibrium price. Price ceilings which are legal maximums on the price at which a good can be sold. And these are only effective if the price ceiling is set to a point that is under the market equilibrium price. Now, how does that apply to minimum wage laws? Well, the minimum wage is a form of a price floor, and minimum wage laws dictate the lowest price for labor that an employer may pay. To illustrate how this impacts the labor market, on the left panel, I have a free labor market where the market is able to meet its equilibrium wage and equilibrium employment points, and which is where the quantity of labor supplied equals the quantity of labor demanded. On the right side, we have a labor market that has been binded to a minimum wage. And at this point, or with this minimum wage, the market is not able to come to its equilibrium point. And that is because the quantity demanded does not equal the quantity supplied, which leaves us with a labor surplus. And this labor surplus can be found by calculating the difference between quantity supplied and quantity demanded. And I actually have a table here. We can look at this in a little bit of a different way. On the left, I have hourly wage. In the middle column, I have quantity of labor supplied. And on the right, I have quantity of labor demanded. And a couple key things to notice here. As the hourly wage increases, we will see an increase in the quantity of labor supplied. And that is because as the wages increase, more people will enter into that labor market seeking higher wages. And you'll see an opposite trend with quantity of labor demanded. And it is for a similar reason. Firms are willing to employ more individuals if wages are lower. At this point, at uh, the hourly wage of 850, we have our market equilibrium, and that is because quantity of labor supplied equals quantity of labor demanded at 360,000. So let's see what happens if we set a minimum wage. For this exercise, we are setting the minimum wage to be 950. And so at 950 an hour, we have a quantity of labor supplied at 380,000. Our quantity of labor demanded is 340,000. So in order to find our labor surplus, we take quantity of labor supplied minus quantity of labor demanded, which is 380,000 minus 340,000. So that gives us a surplus of 40,000. And this is pretty intuitive once you understand the concepts. But like I said, you will need to be able to answer similar questions and exercises once you get to the post test. So I would recommend coming back to this video when you are doing your reviews and your study prep for the final exam. Thank you for watching. 
As always, please reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. I'm happy to help. Thank you.